Welcome to Dave Eats. Welcome to the shit show. Only on the worst food review channel on YouTube. On this episode, Dave has traveled to historic Delaware. Not the proud first state of America, but the beautiful hamlet nestled on the banks of the muddy Thames. Not the real Thames, that's on a whole different continent. Let's go ahead and roll that hairy little dancing bastard and get on with the train wreck. We have a lot to cover in this episode. If you're a habitual viewer of this channel, which is pretty unlikely, you will have seen the 80s pizza and grill episode. But Delaware is more than cheap crappy pizza. But before we go into this ultra high-end meat store with a hot lunch counter, let's see what Delaware is about. Oops, my Canuck is showing. Delaware, located 10 kilometers west of London, on the Thames River, is currently experiencing a January thaw. Delaware is not only home to a Wagyu selling high-end butcher, but also has the exclusive Oaks Country Club, where initiation fees begin at a whopping $12,000. The only way Dave is getting onto his course is under cover of darkness. Located next to the opulent playground for wealthy overachievers is Delaware Speedway. Situated in a natural amphitheater and famed for its asymmetrical shape, Delaware Speedway is Canada's fastest paved half-mile oval. Delaware Speedway is the longest-running asphalt racetrack in Canada, but there is not much going on there this time of year. Another reason to come to Delaware is fishing. In the Thames River, Delaware fishermen catch perch, bass, and northern pike. You can find a frenzy of fishing activity in the area when the walleye are in season. Don't forget to pick up your bait. Enough of the public service announcement. Let's get back to the meat of this video. BJ's Country Market is located at 4 York Street in Delaware. BJ's not only is a butcher, but also a retailer of high-end products, such as big green egg smokers and Yeti products. But Dave's here for the meat, aren't you? So it seems like the butcher here's name is Brad. You have to respect a guy so into great meat. Just look at this dry-aging vault. Now that's something this girl can really get into. But this place is more than just toys for the wealthy and meat prices that will put your household budget into cardiac arrest. It also has wood-fired pizza, sundries, and high-end groceries. There has to be a classier word for that. Comestibles. Edibles. Foodstuffs? If you live like Tony Stark, you could probably find all your dietary needs here. But the reason for this trip is the hot food bar. Let's head there now and get some lunch. I should probably get some food. I probably should. Are they sold by the town? Yep. Yeah. I'll maybe take a couple of them. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Barbecue time. Welcome back, Dave Eats. Today we're in Delaware, Ontario. 
We're BJ's Country Meats. These are ribs. Mmm, ribs were on today. Uh, I said, give me a couple. I got two. That's two dollars and eighty-seven cents. That's a dollar fifty a rib. I don't know. She says chicken wings work out to be about a dollar a piece. I think. Uh, but it, the, the the meat, the meat is just, it's amazing. It's a. This is a. They call it a country market, and they have food, but this is a butcher shop first, in my mind. So anyways, I'm going to try this out, and I'm going to leave one for Lucinda. Um, they're very saucy. Saucy. Mm. They're really into barbecuing here. You go into a grocery store or meat market, and they might have a couple of briskets. This place had a pile of briskets. Um, everything looked good. Bacon. Oh my god. Lamb bacon. Never seen it. They got it. Mm. It's got some smoky flavor to it. It's pretty saucy. It comes away from the bone, but it's not mush. You know, it's got still a little bite to it. Mmm. They're good. They're really into meat in this place. We've got Prime, Triple A. They got everything ribbed at A5 Wagyu. Um, I really didn't see anything in here, but you can see it on their website. And they're also into dry aging. Like the dry aging cooler. It's a thing of beauty. Um, and they're in the Yeti. This is definitely a rich people market. But actually the hot food doesn't seem too bad in price to me. The sandwiches look fantastic. For eight bucks you can get a deli made sandwich there. Which looked, which looked awesome. What was the guy's name that was making the french fries? Do you remember? Thanks, Tony. I don't remember. Anyways, here we go. Should we get a picture of this? So, we mentioned all the briskets. We got the brisket sandwich. They had meatballs. As I said, they had ribs. Um, what else did they have in hot food there, Lucinda? Did you recall? We can see it right in the video here, probably, but you're watching the video, we're not. They had chicken wings, I said that, I think. Uh, now, I was very happy the guy went and made us fresh fries. They're just not... They're not the best fries. They're not fresh cut. They're fake fresh cut. They're not cooked enough. They're, uh, they're soggy. They're... It was an attempt. But what I'm really excited about is this brisket sandwich. It looks yummy. Oh, I'm so good. Mmm, eat me. I will eat you, Mr. Brisket. Anyways, let's take a bite. Mmm. There's no sauce in this brisket sandwich. It doesn't really need it. Need it. The meat flavor comes out. A little bit of salt, maybe be nice on it, but mm. I'm more of a sliced brisket guy. But this is juicy and delicious. It's very good. Cool. We're gonna try the coleslaw. I really. They didn't give me a thing. I don't want that. That's a big hard piece. Let's see if we can get this. Coleslaw is not bad. Just seems like a mix. It's rather uninspired, but. It's not terrible. Also, needs seasoning. Everything needs seasoning here a little bit. Um, are we going to have a little bit of the chocolate milk before we go? We love chocolate milk for small dairies. This one's from Hewitt's. It's one of the larger of the small dairies. Hewitt's Dairy. Not bad. Not great. Has that you know, Nestle quick taste to it. But, we think this place is cool. If you're looking for some high priced meat, this is a place you can get it. They do have a wonderful patio in the summer. Uh, so you can probably get stuff right off the uh, big green eggs that are actually built right in to the patio. If you've been to BJ's Country Market, let us know. If you like soggy fries that were originally frozen, let us know. Share, like, subscribe, Look for us next time. This is Big Dave. Thanks for watching.
He's fucking fragile, really terrible.